Video games are good for your health. Take that, college degree. Hey guys, Tara here for D News, and if you played a lot of video games growing up, then you probably heard your parents yell at you at some point to stop sitting so close to the TV. Well, it turns out that advice isn't just outdated, it's also incorrect. And research now shows that incorporating video games into your daily regimen can actually improve your vision. There was a study done in 2012 that looked at people with bilateral deprivation amblyopia, or lazy eye, which affects about 3% of the population. It's typically considered an irreversible condition if it's not cured by the age of seven, but researchers now have the first evidence showing that lazy eye can be treated well into adulthood. A group of individuals with lazy eye were asked to play 40 hours of the first person shooter Medal of Honor over the course of one month. And by the end of that month, they had gained a 30% increase on average in their ability to see details. And that effect continued even after they stopped playing. A similar study on people with cataracts also found marked improvements in patients' vision after just one month of playing Medal of Honor. So clearly video games improve your vision, but shooters specifically can reverse certain vision problems way faster than any other type of game. And that's because your eyes are constantly switching back and forth between a very focused, directed line of sight and a more generalized view where you're focusing on the entire field of vision at once. Anyone who's played a shooter knows that you're never just staring at one spot, you're constantly monitoring everything on screen so when you do zero in on an enemy that's when your vision focuses and it's that constant back and forth that trains your muscles and improves your ability to see details over time. First person shooters are even more effective because the camera is constantly moving and adjusting to your line of sight which makes it easier for you to determine the direction of motion in real life. They've also been shown to improve hand-eye coordination and the fast-paced excitement of first-person shooters gives you a dopamine rush that increases the brain's plasticity, allowing it to function and heal itself better. So if you have vision problems, first-person shooters are absolutely the way to go, but if you have normal vision, then the kind of game you play doesn't really matter. No matter what you play, it should still improve your vision over time. It's probably worth mentioning here that in addition to DNews, I also host a gaming channel over at youtube.com slash rep3games. We actually just put up a review of Watch Dogs, which is the open world game where you basically hack and shoot your way all across the city of Chicago. It's awesome, and so is our channel. So if you like video games, please do me a favor and go check us out. In the meantime, if you have any questions, comments, recommendations of video games to play, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.